Hello, I am Saki, and today I will show you how to make vegan feathers. So this is a headpiece. It goes on like that. There's a little hair clip on the back. And, but anyway, I guess that's not super relevant. I'm going to show you how to make the feathers. So these as well as these. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, you'll need wire. This is just electrical wire. Wire cutters. Fabric scissors. Fabric and uh, fabric glue or some other, I don't know, I use liquid fusion, and a candle. Okay, so before we cut our fabric, we need to talk about fabric direction. So this is the selvage edge, and you're going to have different effects whether you cut perpendicular or parallel with that, this way or that way, or if you're going to cut on a bias, so like this. Or like this. So 45 degree angle to the selvage edge. The way they make fabric is this is on a loom and there's there's threads that run this way and then a little machine will come and weave, weave in and out and it will make threads that run this way. So that means so as, as you can see like there's there's little threads that pull off this way. So what, what you don't want to do is you don't want to be cutting uh, on the bias. That's what this 45 degree angle is called because here's what happens. If we're, so we want to end up with something like this, right? We want frayed ends, right? But if you're going to cut on the 45 degree angle, what's going to happen is you're going to try to make frayed ends and instead you're just going to, all of your pieces will fall out because there's no connecting threads. See, they're just snapped right there. And then, if you cut on the perpendicular, if you cut at a 90 degree angle, what's going to happen is you won't get any fraying at all because, and I'm really trying to fray it, you're not going to get any fraying because these the threads are running continuously through here. So that's two extremes. So if you want to get a really nice uh, uneven little feather shape like that, what you're going to want to do is cut at like a 30 degree angle. So um, let me do that right here. Um, I'm going to be not quite perpendicular, but a little bit up, but I don't want to be parallel. Don't be parallel to the bias. So we do not want an exact 45 degree angle. I'm going to go just ever so slightly off from the 90 degrees. So then we'll get something like that, which looks a lot more proper. So you see that there's a little bit of fraying, but the whole piece is not breaking off like this. Sorry, it's a little hard to see, but the whole piece is not breaking off. Moderate fraying and then no fraying. So that's what we want to aim for when we're doing our actual feather cutting. So here we have a new strip of fabric. The um, the selvage edge is on that side. I do not want to cut straight. I do not want to cut on the 45 degree angle. I want to cut somewhere in between. So I'm going to start at the bottom and cut these little notches. And toward the top, I'm going to change my angle. And this one, this piece right here is going to be cut at a 45 degree angle. So we're expecting that one to go bye-bye. And then we're going to transition into a 90 degree angle and end right there. You can start fraying it if you want, start peeling off little pieces. Oops, I tugged a little too hard on that one. And like I said, we are going to lose the ones at the transition when it goes through the 45 degree angle. Okay, and then I'm just going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. And again, I'm going to transition through the 45 degree angle into a 90 degree angle. Oops, I made a mistake right here. <laughs> we'll fix that later. Okay, so this is where it gets a little funky. You might have to make some corrections, such as here. Looks really obviously not feather shaped. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice all that up. This is like giving a haircut. Alright, so we'll just kind of 
get rid of this part. There we go. Alright, and then, actually this part looks a little weird too. Okay, so right here where it's a, uh, where the cuts were 90 degrees and it's not quite fraying, you can actually go in there and cut little notches like so. So see that weird 90 degree angle? Let's give it a haircut on both sides. Ta-da! So, can do the same thing here. Okay, so that's looking kind of feather-like. Uh, I'm gonna clean up this end. I feel like it's a little too regular. All right, cool. And so that's the top of our feather. Now we just gotta make the base, which is basically you snip off the end, like so. Oops. Uh, actually, wait. I don't like this part. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there we are. The next step is we're going to add some wire. So this is just regular insulated, I guess, wire uh, rubber coated, rubber bit. I don't know. So I'm going to measure out some wire. And this thing, I don't know if you've ever looked at the real bird feather, but it does not go all the way to the end. It kind of ends around there. So don't cut your wire too long. If you want, you can leave a stem, um, or you can make it short like that one. I don't want to use too much wire, so I'm just going to use that amount. Okay. Um, so next, um, oh, very important. There are two sides to this fabric. So this is black satin. You can see this is glossy. The other side is matte. It is not shiny. So you got to decide which one you want to be your featured side. So on this one, on this headdress that I made, there, there are two of them. So um, some of them I have the veins sticking out and then some of them I have the veins on the inside. So it's up to you which one you want. Um, I think the veins showing uh, looks a little bit more realistic. So for this feather, I'm going to have shiny side up and this is the, you know, the audience side, the present, the uh, presentable side. And then to get your wire straight, um, you can do like this, or if it's really crooked, you can actually roll it out. This should make it pretty much pin straight. Okay. Alrighty, so you kind of get only one shot to do this, so practice it first. And then, because I'm right handed. Get your liquid fusion. This in be the glue. Try to do this in one stroke. Oh, if you miss a spot, there will probably be a blob later. There we go. Okay. So, face the glue side down. Put my finger here to stabilize it, and then plop it down all at once. I'm gonna push on it, and if you see that there's a little bit of overflow here, what I do is I just get a piece of paper that I fold twice to make a little corner, and I'll just go like that. Get rid of the extra. <laughs> I might have moved it a little bit. Okay, same thing on the other side. Okay, so unfortunately I wobbled it. <laughs> this is why I was saying don't don't mess with it too much. Okay, so that's it for that feather. And then if you want to make the kind that is here, these little millinery, mil these millinery feathers, what you'll want to do is start out with, you want, uh, so this is again the selvage edge, and we're going to want to cut actually on the bias for these. So I'm cutting 45 degrees compared to the selvage edge. 
I guess this isn't 45 degrees. This is more like 60 degrees, seeing as this an equilateral triangle. But anyway, um, okay. And then remember which side is the selvage edge. It was that one. So this is really important because we're going to be cutting, and we want it to be. We don't want it to fray, right? Or we want an ideal amount of fraying. So you can check also if it's, if it's the right side by snipping a little bit and seeing what happens. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's just kind of a rough trim. Um, I am going to edit it pretty heavily. So this looks way too artificially triangular to me, so I'm just going to trim off the corners. So that's it, and then cut ourselves a new piece of wire, right? And we're just gonna glue only the tip. So Okay, that works. So yeah, that is how you make that one. So for this next step, I'm going to show you on this camera instead of that one, because this one does not do auto contrast that well, and this one does. So um, after your feathers are dried, you're going to want to heat seal them with a candle. So just light a candle, <laughs> and then you're going to run the edge, the frayed edge over it really quickly. That's it. It's done. So don't light your feather on fire. So I'm holding it right at the tip of the flame, like so. And you can also feel it to see if the, if the ends are sealed. So that's pretty good. Uh, so you want to be careful that you don't overdo this because this stuff will just actually catch fire. <laughs> okay. So that was today's tutorial. We have, um, so that's the end of today's tutorial. You now know how to make two different types of millinery feathers. Um, please feel free to share this and use this for whatever you want. Um, I hope this helps someone. Uh, anyway, okay, thank you for watching this tutorial. And for more tutorials like this one and other tutorials not like this one, subscribe to my channel.